race. With a hat like that, it's got to be Russia at the start, and indeed it is. For the very first time in world competition, the Russians sending two crews here to Cortina. Yanis Kippus and Awaz Schneps. The Russians only been bobbing for about nine months, although it's strongly rumoured here that they've already built their own bob run somewhere up near Lapland. Indeed, when these Russian crews arrived at Eagles for training just before Christmas, the experts agreed that they couldn't possibly be experiencing their first ever descent. They'd obviously practiced somewhere before they arrived. 5.28, the split time. Both these men are physical training instructors. And you can see now how strongly the sun is beginning to slant through the trees. Still in shadow at this stage. These two had to miss two of the eight practice runs after a crash. They didn't have final practice on Thursday, but said there was never any doubt that they would appear in the competition itself. Pulling up to four Gs of pressure, the brakeman. And now perhaps 80 miles an hour down the fastest part of the course. And this tight finishing curve. Oh, and they've gone over. Well, that's what they did in practice. And they paid the price for staying onto that finishing curve too long. It really has to be treated with respect. But at the end of a mile and a quarter of racing down the ice, there's always a danger that the concentration just begins to lapse on that final finishing curve. Well, it's 180 degrees right-handed. And you've got to drive it high and come down cleanly. Because if you try to stay on too long, as he does here, you simply drop off like a stone. 